I don't even know if I want to talk about this. I believe trauma is one of the hardest things to go through life and one of the hardest things to work through. I think it's because usually you can think of those moments when the trauma occurred and it's vivid in your brain and sometimes your brain doesn't give you a chance, a break to stop thinking about it. For most of us, if we were told to explain the trauma that we have endured, we can explain those moments so vividly because sometimes it feels like it literally just happened when in reality those are moments that we experienced a while back. Trauma is hard. <laughs> so in this video, I want to share with you what you can do to help you overcome your trauma. I'm not a professional psychologist, I'm not a therapist, uh, but I have gone through quite a bit of trauma in my short years of living um, and I have done a lot of counseling for the pains that I have gone through in life and through counseling I have been able to understand a little bit more of how our brain works, why we are the way we are. Um, so I just want to share some of the things I've learned with you in hopes of hopefully helping you overcome a little piece of that trauma that you have been playing over and over and over again in your mind. My first tip for anybody that has gone through some type of trauma is to let yourself feel that trauma. Even though it's really hard, it's important to recognize that it happened. One of my biggest problems was I didn't let myself feel the traumas that I had endured. I didn't want to talk about it and I always wanted to just shove it down even more and pretend like it wasn't there but that was actually one of the biggest issues because eventually the trauma started to surface up and it surfaced up at a really weird part of life and it ended up affecting me a lot. I don't even know if I want to talk about this but I, I want to be open with you all because I believe we need more people to share their traumas um, if they feel comfortable enough to do so because it really does help other people to realize they're not alone. But one of the traumas that I have endured is sexual abuse. Um, it happened when I was very little. Um, and growing up, I remember telling myself that it didn't happen. My brain, I think the way it protected itself was by telling me this story um, that it actually wasn't real and didn't really happen and then I got older and for some reason it just like hit me that like it was real and it did happen. So I think the first step of healing of any type of trauma is letting yourself feel, giving yourself permission to feel and understanding that those things really did happen and you really do have to take the time to figure out how to properly heal from them. My second tip for anyone that's going through trauma is let somebody in and share your pains with others. I know this is so, so hard because it's not that easy to just go to somebody and be like, by the way, this, 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 and this happened to me and I'm struggling, like, nobody wants to do that. However, it's so freeing to be able to just spit it out and just share that with somebody. I remember the first time I finally like opened up about my sexual abuse was to my boyfriend and I didn't realize how freeing 
that was going to be to just be able to tell somebody that like that happened and it was no longer just in my in my head and eventually just being able to sit down and tell my mom and those those kind of things weren't meant to be kept in our head like we are meant to share our struggles with others and we're meant to have people around us like and we need people around us like to help us through life um i know sometimes we keep our traumas in because we are afraid of hurting others however i think we're actually hurting others even more when we choose to struggle with something without letting them help us um like i know for example I didn't want to tell my mom about my sexual abuse situation because I just couldn't bear to see the look on her face knowing like her daughter was hurt at a very young age. However, I, I think it was probably even more sad to her to know that her daughter was suffering and she didn't open up to her about something so big um, because at the end of the day like She's my mom, she loves me, and she wants to be there for me, and, and I didn't let her in, I didn't let her be there for me. So my biggest advice for you is let the people who love you into your space. Um, and then my other tip for you is go and talk to professionals. Go to a counselor, go to a therapist, because they're trained in a lot of areas of trauma. They're trained to help you and share some coping mechanisms with you. Um, the people who love you, like definitely like go to them, but sometimes they're not gonna know what to do and how to help you, but the people who've studied this stuff will know what to do and will know how to help you. So let others in as hard as that might be. So the very last thing I wanna say is, I want you to know that your trauma does not define who you are. Yes, it's something that you've gone through, but it doesn't define you. And I don't want you to think because of something you've experienced, you are not good enough or you're never going to heal. Um, you are going to heal, but you do have to put in the work and you are definitely good enough. Whatever you've experienced cannot take away from the person you are today. Um, know that you're not alone. There's a lot of people on this earth who've experienced a lot of the things that you've experienced. You just might not know it yet. Um, and I also want you to know, like, because you have gone through some hardships, you are going to be a much stronger person, um, a much more relatable person. And um, I think trauma just cultivates more compassion in our heart. Um, we're going to be able to relate to a lot of other people and, and let them feel like they're not alone um, and be able to love on others a little better. But that is all I have for you. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, know that this is a community you can come and feel loved, encouraged, and inspired. That's what I want this channel to be about. I want this to be a place where you can come and find some content that's relatable and content that helps you feel like everything is going to be okay. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Um, and feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for today. Um, feel free to check out one of the videos I'll have up on the screen. And until next time, bye.